Hello YouTube, I collect toys from the 80s and perhaps two of the most popular toy lines were the Thundercats and He-Man. I've tried to collect back as many as possible of each and with the Thundercats I've got all of the figures now and this guy is called the Astral Moat Monster. He's a particularly rare figure and this one's a particularly good example because his eyes, which are normally kind of rubbed quite a bit you know from play wear um, his eyes are really nice and crisp also his claws if you look at them the black hasn't rubbed off so that's quite rare as well so really pleased with this example the only problem is that he hasn't got any wings and if you're looking at prices for this guy without his wings he normally costs about 150 pounds um, I managed to get him for 90 which was a really good deal um, but with the wings, he's more like 350 So clearly, I didn't want to spend £200 on a set of wings. And uh, trying to find them separately is impossible. I mean, I keep my eyes open, and you never know. If I find a pair at a real bargain, I'll get them. But it's been a really long time that I've been looking for some, and I haven't managed to. So what I decided to do in the meantime is buy a, a pair of reproduction wings. Now, the, even the reproduction wings are still £30 for a set. And uh, when they came, I realised that they're a little bit off. Like, these are them. And you can see they're, they're sort of semi-transparent. <laughs> um, but also, they're this kind of more kind of fluorescent orange colour. Um, it probably doesn't pick up particularly well on the screen. But uh, yeah, they're just really bright and they don't look like these feet. I'll hold these up to the light just so you can see how sort of translucent they are. Um, and like I say, they, they do look pretty fluorescent in real life, which is a real shame because the shape of them is not too bad, although it's, it's not as good as um, the actual wings. It's not as uh, detailed and there's not as many kind of holes in them. But, you know, overall the shape looks pretty good. Um, the thickness of them as well, they're really thick compared to the original wings, which is a shame too. But anyway, they'll do for now, apart from the colour, I need to think about that. I did almost go another way with these because I found a dragon in a charity shop, this guy here. Um, and he was, let's have a look at this label, £4. So I thought, you know, for £4, that's not too bad. And he came with a set of red wings. And the red wings, I thought, oh, they look pretty good colour-wise. I wonder if I can adapt the wings for my Astral Moat Monster. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll buy it. And these are the wings. And I quite like the detailing on them, you know, with the ribbing on the wings and that sort of thing. But uh, they're completely different shape. I cut them down a bit. And I got as far as this. Uh, you can see I was just making the... Um, the sort of stalk bits that would slot into the astral moat monster. I cut these bits off from the corners, just using that a little saw, and then I was going to round it all off and uh, get them to fit. But let let me show you. I mean, obviously they don't look anything like the original wings. This is the problem. Um, and even with the original wings, that bit that slots in, it was quite hard to get them to slot in. Um, but yeah, these new ones, or these ones that I was going to make, that's the little kind of peg bit that I was going to round off to go in the holes. And uh, it's a closer colour to the feet, but it's not still not perfect. So anyway, I was playing around with these and I was thinking, you know, should I use these? And my wife saw them and she was like, but they don't look anything like the original Astral Moat Monster Wings. And I, I guess I was thinking... Well, they, they look pretty cool, though. <laughs> but anyway, I was going to cut off the corners here as well to kind of round that off. So it was at least a little bit more like the original shape. And I suppose with a bit of time, I could have trimmed it all off and uh, really rounded it off and just made it a similar sort of shape. But um, in the end, I decided that I'm just going to dye the wings that I got, the uh, reproduction wings. Uh, until I can find some real ones. Hopefully I'll find some real ones, but you never know. <laughs> it's worth looking. 
Right, after looking on YouTube, which, as we all know, is a good source for anything you need to know, um, I was looking at how to dye plastic. I didn't even realise that you could kind of dye plastic. It seems obvious now, because how do you get plastics different colours? They must be dyed. So here's the wings. I've got them on my stove here so you can see and remember their sort of hideous, luminous colour that they are. And I've got a pan here. So what you do is basically just boil a pan of water uh, until it starts bubbling. It needs to be, you know, not quite boiling, but almost. Uh, and then I've got some tongs here ready just for kind of uh, playing about with it. I've got to be careful, obviously, when the dye is in there, it's a really strong dye. So I don't want to get it anywhere, especially don't want to, you know, get it to go on the white cooker or anything like that this is the type of dye it's called ripped dye um, and it's really good for yeah dyeing all kinds of fabrics obviously but also plastic um, you've got to be careful because there are some types of plastic that don't take the dye i think it's like epoxy plastics it won't take and i was really worried when i was doing this i was thinking it's not going to at all right i'm adding in just a teaspoonful of um, washing up liquid stir that all in on the back of the dye it didn't say how much water to add or how much dye to put in so i kind of assumed that i'd need to put a whole bottle of dye in i've kept this quite shallow water wise just because i don't need much to cover the wings anyway so this is the dye yeah it's really kind of dark red color and looks pretty scary <laughs> But I've put it in and I'll tip this tub away very quickly, get rid of that because it's so strong. I don't want to drip it anywhere. Again, at this point, I thought I'd give it another stir with the teaspoon just because all of the uh, water and washing up liquid, I want that to all kind of uh, merge in with the dye so it's all consistent. So they say that uh, your water has to be pretty close to boiling, but not quite boiling. And it needs to be hot through the whole dyeing process. So at this point, I was sort of panicking because I was thinking my plastic wings might be the wrong type of plastic and they might not take dye at all. Um, but I put them in anyway. And <laughs> I've got my hob turned down to four at this point. So it wasn't right up high on six. It was down to four. And uh, that seemed to be working all right. It was keeping it you know, from properly boiling. The other thing is that I didn't want my uh, wings to actually hit the bottom of the pan if it was on full, because they, it might melt the plastic, potentially. I, I wasn't sure what the melting point would be, but I was a bit panicked. Right, let me tell you about a disaster that I had with these, because basically what happened was I left them in for probably only about 20 seconds. I kind of assumed they'd need to be in there for a really long time to pick up any colour, but almost instantly they took on the red. And then before I knew it, they'd gone too dark and they ended up being this sort of like maroony colour instead of a nice kind of bright red. So that was really frustrating. And when I put it on my Moat Monster, it just didn't look right. Obviously they looked way too dark. The feet suddenly looked really bright red and yeah, it just didn't work. And then I was like, oh no, I've wrecked, I've wrecked my reproduction wings. So then I looked back on YouTube and I looked at how do you remove colour from plastic? And you can do it quite easily. And I, I didn't realise this either. So if you make up another pan with boiling water, uh, and this time you add bicarbonate of soda, a little bit of white vinegar and a tiny bit, like I'm talking like a, a teaspoonful of um, bleach, you know, like Domestos or something similar. Uh, mix that all together and uh, and then you can put your wings in. And what's really cool is it, it really gradually takes the colour out, um, you know, really kind of steadily over quite a few minutes as well so i hope this video is showing up obviously they're still translucent when you hold them up to the light 
but it's much closer match to his feet now and I'm really happy with this particular red like when I had him in my toy cabinet before with the luminous wings on he really stood out as you know the wings stood out as being wrong but with this now it looks sort of correct so I'm I'm glad about that you don't sort of notice it in the collection you just think that's the astral moat monster um, which is how I wanted it so these will definitely do for now until I manage to find a real set maybe one day at the old car boot sale or cheaply on eBay. You never know, somebody might list them as something else by accident and I might find them and be able to get them at a real good deal. Yeah, these reproduction wings dyed this colour are definitely better than the dragon wings that I was trying to adapt from before. And actually, if I hold up some of the dragon wings and compare the red colour, do you remember I said it was getting closer to what the feet were? But look, now it just looks really orangey compared to the feet. So yeah, I don't know if this video does it much justice colour-wise, but they do match really quite well in real life, so I'm glad about that. Um, okay, I was just going to show you one more thing before I go, which was an image that I found on the internet when I was looking up Astral Moat Monster. And uh, it appeared like somebody had put uh, a photo up showing a colour variant of the Astral Moat Monster. And I got a bit excited at first, but I think it's just one that somebody has kind of custom painted. It still looks really cool though, so I thought I'd show you guys it. It's this one here, a nice green version of the Astral Moat Monster. And I thought that would be pretty cool if there was a colour variation like that that had actually been made in production. But uh, I looked around on the internet and I haven't been able to find any other examples, just this one. Um, so yeah, I think somebody has painted it green. It does look cool though. Um, if you look in the background, actually, there's something green in a, a jar or something. And I was wondering if that was green paint <laughs> that had been used to paint it. But anyway, very cool looking thing. Um, yeah, check out my other 80s toy videos if you get a chance. Hit subscribe to see anything that I post up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.